Thanks for joining us for another Sky Pirates adventure. Today's cross-country journey finds us on the west coast of Florida. We're making the flight from Placida down Gasparilla Island to the legendary Boca Grande Pass. Come join us for the adventure. This area has a rich history and I'll talk a little bit about it during the flight. Clear prop. Thank you, sir. We have a beautiful sunrise again this morning. Today we're flying at Placida, and uh, we're going to attempt to make a run down the beach to uh, legendary Boca Grande Pass. It's about a 12-mile uh, flight in the east direction. You on comms, Carl? I got the body line flat. All right, man, heading that direction. Roger that, right behind you. The first portion of our flight takes us over the Charlotte Harbor Aquatic Preserve. We're flying over a mangrove swamp. Oh man, that would be no place to have to sit down. Very bad place for a motor out. We just hit the intercoastal here. We're following the causeway across the bay. Yeah, once we hit the beach, we'll uh, loiter around a little bit, get them a minute or two. The Boca Grande Causeway opened in 1958. Before that, the only way to get to the island was by boat, ferry, or by the railroad bridge, which was on the left-hand side. How clear that water is today. Woo -wee. So the idea is we follow this little causeway across so you would have some emergency outs. You'd have to land on the road or right next to it, which wouldn't be fun, but it'd be better than going in the water. Holy cow, Carl McGee, I've never seen you that high before. Yeah, this one is about the highest I've ever been. Uh, I figured the uh, splash of water was not as bad as concrete. Yes, sir, I hear that. I'm going to start dropping down. Oh, they're stuck on a sandbar down there. Tearing up the prop. You want to wait for those guys or you just want to head on down? I don't know how much fuel you got. Head on down. I got enough for an hour and a half, two hours. Roger that. Down the beach. Boca Grande has a long, rich history. It wasn't always estates and private beaches. In 1885, phosphate was discovered on the banks of the Peace River, just across Charlotte Harbor. You've probably seen my videos flying around the phosphate mines of Central Florida. Phosphate is a valuable mineral used in fertilizers and other products and was in great demand worldwide. At first, the phosphate was carried by barge down the river to Gasparilla Island, where it was loaded into schooners for worldwide transport. In 1905, the construction of a railhead began. At this time, the only buildings on the island were the South Lighthouse and the Assistant Keeper's House on the far south end. 
This is the Gulf of Mexico side of Florida, or the West Coast. The Gulf of Mexico is uh, relatively shallow compared to uh, the Atlantic. The water's pretty clear today. The sun's not even up, shining down yet, but uh, you can see it's, it's pretty darn clear. The railroad was completed in 1907. For the next 50 years, train cars loaded with the valuable material were loaded directly onto ocean-going freighters. These ships carried the valuable commodity all over the world. And of course, along with the railroad came people. In 1911, the Gasparilla Inn opened and the island became a major vacation destination for fishing and golfing. Big bunny houses down there, boy. That is the Boca Grande Lighthouse right there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I found out after my flight, this is not actually the lighthouse. This is the North Range Light, installed in 1927. It's a navigational aid used to navigate ships into the channel when they're coming in from out in the Gulf. There was a marker out on the sandbar, and when you lined it up with this marker, it put you on a straight course into the port. Yeah, every year they have a huge uh, tarpon tournament down here. It gets, it gets so full of boats here in the pass and Boca Grande that you could, uh, they say you could step from boat to boat to boat almost all the way across because the tarpon uh, roll in here in the spring and early summer and just get so thick. Uh, what is that, some rays down there? Yeah, stingrays. And uh, Boca Grande is also famous for big sharks, big hammerheads. These guys will hook these, uh, you know, 150-pound tarpon, and they'll uh, fight them and fight them and get them tired out, get them up to the boat, and then a giant hammerhead will come take it. Another school of stingrays down there. We often look for cobia with the stingrays. They tend to follow them. And uh, down here, they call these the old phosphate docks. There's a manatee right down there. Manatee down there, Carl. Beautiful. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Boca Grande Pass. Those are the old phosphate docks over there. Here at the very tip of the island, you can see the original lighthouse and the assistant keeper's quarters. I see three more paramotors coming down the beach. We will start to ease our way on back. We'll cross paths with uh, with these guys. There was a tarpon, big tarpon. Go back and get another look at that. There's a big tarpon. Oh yeah, they're all laying out here off the beach this morning. I see. They look like logs. About five feet long. Big around as your thigh. If I can get close enough. Yeah, there he is right there. Silver King. 
Nice one. Harping right up in front of that boat. for uh, air traffic. Wow, that was one hell of an adventure. What an amazing flight. The weather was perfect, the water was clear. We couldn't have asked for anything better. We've been trying to plan this flight for many months, but the weather never seems to cooperate. Today it finally did. I'd like to give a big thanks to the local guys that came out and flew with us, Alvaro and Joe. Thanks for sharing your LZ with us. We had a great time. We hope to do it again soon. Thanks for coming along, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, the flight and the little history lesson. If you did, let me know in the comments. If not, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, until next time, Gorilla out. <laughs>